I love you and only you, baby. Hey, I'm ready now. Wake up, wake up, somebody's sending you back. Somebody's sending you back. Okay, I'll let you with the simple bass. You got it? Yeah, bass guitar. I just send it out check it out yeah okay um check it out check it out australia's deadless is it a, is it it was all one word deadless animals deadless animals what is that hey um my main man chris asked for this one that's better i couldn't hear myself i was wondering what was going wrong <laughs> hey christopher asked for this one right here appreciate you so much chris man um because of you we about to start production on the movie. We going to do a movie, man. Uh, oops. oops. Y'all don't supposed to be knowing that. Shh. Scratch that. I'm talking to Chris. Chris, because of you. <laughs> hey, y'all hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell. And without any further ado, let's check out a video or two. Um, share a video or two. Let's check it out. In Australia, we've got deadly animals aplenty. We've got funnel web spiders who'll murder you and your family. Under every second rock is a red back spider and they'll kill you just because, I don't know, they're bored or whatever. We've got invisible brown snakes who'll bite you on the foot and you'll be dead in seven minutes. Just like that, kaput. We've got the world's deadliest creatures all over the place. We've got magpies who'll steal the eyeballs from your face. But at Whoa. least we don't have AR-15. We'll have We've got great white sharks who'll ascend from the deep and rip you in half with their razor sharp teeth. We've got saltwater crocs who'll death roll you to death and sea snakes who'll gladly snatch your last breath. We've got a blue ring doctor puss no bigger than this that just sits around in rock pools waiting to kill kids and even the platypus, a cute beaver duck thing, has got a spur on its ankle that'll kill you in one sting. But at Ooh. least we don't have AR-15s. Platypus! At least they can't end up in the hands of psychopathic teens. We've got stonefish and stingrays and sea urchins and shit and hectic fucking homicidal box jellyfish. And these jellyfish, they aren't even sentient beings. They don't even really do stuff or know about things. They just float around on the whim of the currents, being pointless, non-cognitive, murderous cunts. And hey. if that weren't enough in terms of natural hazards, here in Australia, the sun causes cancer. But at least we don't have AR-15s. The sun causes cancer. At least they can't end up in the hands of suicidal teens. Hey. And at least we don't have an hey. NRA who pay millions of dollars every day. Buying off politicians not to change old laws. So We've got, got bull sharks, cone shells, salt water, crocodiles, honeybees, European wasps and blue ring doctor pies. Death adders, blue bottles, red back spiders. Tiger sharks, tiger snakes, and lizards that'll bite ya. We got sea snakes, tiger pans, cassowaries, copperheads, all the creatures of the land and sky and sea that want you dead. Toadfish, stonefish, irukandji, jellyfish, bull ants, centipedes, and ticks that cause paralysis. Fuck, we don't what? have AR-15. Ticks that cause paralysis. Land and sky and sea that want you dead. Toadfish, stonefish, irukandji, jellyfish, bull ants, centipedes, and ticks that cause paralysis. Fuck, we don't have AR-15. Can't end up in the hands of psychopathic suicidal teens And thank fuck we don't have an NRA Who pay millions of dollars every day Buying off politicians not to change some law A law that 
that was written 200 years ago In a time when it took three minutes to reload A single round of ammunition We knew nothing about depression And you couldn't fire 45 rounds in 60 seconds <laughs> And there wasn't even such a thing as automatic weapons No it wasn't there weren't 31 mass shootings monthly mm. But what would I know, cause I'm from another country Yeah Australia, have I, I came close, I met a lot of people from Australia when I went to the Philippines Always wanted to go to Australia, I just want to see a kangaroo That's not in the zoo <laughs> Boss, boss, hey my main man, Christopher, asked for that one right there, man. I got to get myself over. Great, start doing some, um, I got to get a passport again. I can't find my passport. So I'm great, start doing some traveling. So, hey, I'm going to get on up out of here. Y'all take a light, take a slow, tell a Mike Cross. Hold yourself. Peace out.